right, so here's the solutions for today, and then we're gonna go over number seven. That was requested by the class. I'm recording for the people at home, in case you're wondering. Okay, so for number seven, oh, I just closed my binder, hold on. <clears throat> so for number seven, you had um, negative one half x plus six, okay? And for this, we're, um, we're factoring out the coefficient of the variable, which means we're gonna factor out negative a half. So it's gonna look like, oops. I'll get there in a second. It's gonna look like this. And just a reminder, when you're factoring out something, you're dividing both terms by that thing. So we have negative a half x plus six. We'll divide by negative a half and divide by negative a half. So you're left with x here. And then when you're dividing by a fraction, okay, we can keep it, switch it, flip it. So this is negative 12. Okay. A lot of people got three there and negative three guys get on that one you see why that how that works awesome any other great questions guys all right grab some paper let's talk about combining like terms today So uh, we're like I've said before, we're like climbing a mountain. So I, I'm giving you the skills that you need, and then we're going to put those skills now together to uh, simplify some more complex expressions. And by the end of the week, we will be applying uh, all of this to the real world. So we'll look at some how we can use expressions to. Um, help us in the real world. Oh, it's not, it's not November anymore. It is December. out it has been acting up. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go. So our learning target is I can combine like terms. To simplify expressions. Okay, if you have colored pencils or highlighters or something, you might want to have that out today because we're going to be um, color coding as we go. So before we start all of that though, we're just going to go through some vocabulary. And 
actually. I'm gonna use black today, or maybe gray. an expression and then we're going to break it apart to talk about what each term is called and how it works. Okay, so we've already talked about how terms are all these different pieces that are connected by subtraction or addition um, and we call terms that have variables in them, we call them variable terms, okay? So this right here is a variable term. This right here is a variable term. And this right here is also a variable term. I'm doing these in different colors on purpose, okay? Because we're going to talk about these two terms specifically in just a minute. But we can say that all of these terms that I boxed here are variable terms. And then this number at the end, whenever it does not have a variable, whenever a term does not have a variable, we consider it a constant or we can call it a constant term. vocabulary that we need. Now, um, do you guys remember combining like terms in sixth grade? Yes. You did that. Okay, good. So then this shouldn't be too bad for you. But let's talk about what like terms are and then we'll talk about how to combine them. So like terms are terms with the same variables. Um, constants are also considered like terms. So I'm going to use orange here because I noticed that I boxed these two terms in orange. Well, we would consider negative 6p and negative 2p to be, to be like terms because they have the same variables. So what we can do is we can combine these. So negative 6p and negative p. Does anyone know what that's going to be? Negative 7p. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this circumstance from above, the like terms were negative 6p and negative p. And now if we're going to combine them, it would be negative 6p and negative p. So this will be negative 7p. Now notice this term right here, it doesn't have any like terms with it. There are no other terms that have an M, so we can't combine it with anything, okay? And then this is a constant. There are no other terms that are constants, so we can't combine that with anything either. So combining like terms is finding those 
terms that have the same variables and then you can add or subtract them. Okay. Now I want to point out something key, like crucial here. Notice that when I boxed my terms, I took the sign with it. Okay. That is very important. That is a, uh, something that causes a lot of errors in when you're uh, simplifying expressions is people don't take that sign with it. Now that's important because remember that subtracting is the same as adding a negative. So I could rewrite this as negative 6p plus a negative 5m plus a negative p plus 2. Um, but to save ourselves a lot of time and headache, just know that if you're subtracting, you need to consider that as negative p. Okay, if you're subtracting 5m, you need to consider that negative 5m when we're talking about the terms. Okay, so let's try a couple simple examples and then I'll have you guys practice. Okay, so I have some like terms here. I have two terms that have x's, so I'm going to box those. Notice there is no other term that has a y in it, so we're going to leave that alone. So negative 2x and negative 8x is going to be negative 10x. Okay. And then you have negative 3y. Anybody have any questions for me? So far, so good. Okay, let's try another example. Okay. Let's identify those. Um, like terms. I have two terms that have C's in it. So here's this term and this term. So I have negative 2C and positive 5C. So this is going to be positive 3C. Now I also have two constants. And remember, constants are considered like terms. So I have 10 and I have negative 7. Yes, I heard it, 3. So 10 and negative 7 is 3. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at one that, one more example, and then I'll have you guys practice. Now you're going to see times where you have just a variable. If you just have a variable with no number with it, you can assume that that number is a 1. That's 1y. One so if I box it, so negative 4y and positive y, we consider this like a 1y. One so all together, this is going to be negative 3y. Does everybody follow how I got that? You guys are good? Okay, I'm going to have you try a few and then we're going to add some parentheses in there.
to look at those four exam or four practice problems and try it out. You guys have any questions for me on this? No. Everyone was good with this one where the negative 4t and the positive 4t cancel each other out? So they add to zero? Awesome. You guys are rocking it. Good. Okay, so let's turn. I'm going to turn my page over. We're going to talk about, um, we're going to get some parentheses up in there too. I wrote down the wrong thing. Okay, so let's do seven minus five. 
times the whole thing, negative 6 minus 8n. Okay. I got one going on there. Um, you can't really combine like terms until you distribute. Okay? So let's put a little note here that says, um, that tells us that. So step one, distribute. Step two, combine like terms. we have it there for reference later on. Okay. Well, um, this 7 is not involved with the um, parentheses here at all. Okay. So we want to ignore the 7. But we, what we don't want to ignore is that negative. I know we talked about it. This looks like subtraction. I want you to think of it as a negative. Okay? So I'm going to have you highlight this whole thing. Okay. Most common mistake that people make is they want to subtract this before they distribute. That's going to mess you up every time. Okay? So now what we're doing is we're multiplying negative 5 times negative 6 and negative 5 times negative 8n. Okay? So I'm going to bring down my 7. We're not going to do anything with it yet because it's not a part of these parentheses. And then I'm going to do, well, negative 5 times negative 6 is a positive 30. And negative 5 times negative 8n is going to be positive 40 n. Um, I was just saying that you that's against the order of operations. Um, you want to multiply before you subtract. And that's like what you just said is exactly, like exactly what messes so many people up is they try to subtract that before they multiply. So make sure that you're, even though you have parentheses there and you've got a lot going on, just keep in the back of your mind those order of operations. You always want to multiply before you subtract. So make sure you distribute this because it's multiplication first. Okay. Once you've done that, then you can see that you have some like terms going on here. You have a constant here and you have a constant here. So we can combine those. So 7 plus 30 is 37 and then bring everything else down, and there you have it. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Negative 2x minus times the whole thing, 5 plus 8s. Okay. Now again, we're going to ignore this first term. Before we can combine anything, we need to distribute. Okay. So I'm going to highlight this. This is the part that we're looking at. And we need to make sure that we incorporate that negative in there. If we don't, we're going to royally mess ourselves up, okay? So negative 6 times positive 5 is negative 30. Negative 6 times positive 8 is negative 48s. Then I can bring down that beginning, negative 2s. Now, I have some like terms here. We have negative 2s and negative 48s. So this is going to be negative 50 
s and then minus 30. You guys ready to try it? myself space to do my work I wanted to maybe cram these in. Anybody have any questions on this? Is everyone okay? 